internet friends good morning welcome or welcome back to sustainable sierra youtube channel if it's your first time visiting me here hi welcome my name is sierra and i'm an american who lives in england and i make videos about my family's life there and whatever it is we are up to on the days i sit down to film or take the camera out when we're around the city in today's video as you can tell i am not in england i'm actually in nunberg germany which i probably said that wrong i'm doing my best i'm sorry i don't speak fluent german yet maybe i will someday but um I know that 30% of my viewers are German, so if I said that wrong, please feel free to let me know in the comments because I know that you guys will anyways. I'm gonna be here in Nuremberg for a total of technically four days, except we got here late last night and we're gonna be leaving early on Thursday morning. I don't know if those count, but we're staying for three nights here in Nuremberg. Um, by we, I mean a little man here with me who is n not willing to turn around because he's watching Paw Patrol in German, which I don't know why I didn't think that Paw Patrol would be popular here. I don't know, it's dubbed into German and maybe he'll learn a couple of words, I don't know. And then I have Mr. here with me. Uh, you wanna come say hello? Hello. Um, he's doing some stuff to prep for the day over there. But anyways, before we leave the hotel for the day, I just wanted to pop in and say hello. We're gonna be here for a couple of days. I think I'm gonna make this into um, two videos, maybe one, it really depends on how much footage I take. One of the things I've been working at lately, which you guys have commented on, is just making, not necessarily less content, but making more um, like curated content, and maybe, I guess in the long run, making less content. And I've been spending more time, just in the light of everything that's happening in the world right now, just spending a lot more time focusing on family, which I think is really important, so. While we're here, we have some loose plans. We're gonna go to the German History Museum because they have a really cool globe I wanna show you and Little Man wants to see. Uh, we're gonna go to the Children's Market this afternoon. Of course, we're gonna see the other Chris Kindle Market and we're gonna go to the Toy Museum and possibly the Documentation Center. I personally would like to see it, but I'm not quite sure if it's appropriate for Little Man, so I'm gonna to talk to the desk staff and do a little more research. So you might see that, we might not, but anyways, the day is young, it is 10.30. We gotta to get to that museum so we can get to the Christmas Market. So we will see you guys when we get there. As you can tell, we don't get much snow where we live in England, so this is a treat. Hey there guys, so we're inside the German History Museum right now, and we're up on the Scientific Instruments floor, and there's some really interesting things here I just kind of want to show you really quickly. Um, we're actually on our way to go see the globe now because I'm worried that little man's going to lose interest before we get to see it, so we're going to go there first. Um, but first when you come in, there's a bunch of compasses here that are really cool to see. Um, at least I think that they're really, really neat. The oldest one is from the 1500s, which is so cool. Not quite old enough for Columbus to have used um, on his travels, but almost old enough for Columbus to have used, which is really cool. Hi. Hey, what do you think of the museum so far? Yeah. You like it or you don't like it? A little bit like it. A little bit like it? Well, you haven't seen the best parts yet. And then they have sundials, which Maria told a little man about how he used to tell the time based on the sun. He was just like mind boggled. He could not even believe it. And they have more really cool sundials and a super cool old cup. I've never seen this before. It's called a lamp clock. They're so for either water or oil, depending on um, where you live, just sometimes sand. And then they also have this like um, old calendar where you would manually change the days, but it's still super, super cool. How many years do you think are on that calendar? I don't know. 100. 100. Yeah. So you actually cross? Huh? You actually cross? I don't think you cross it off. I just think that it like kind of guessed the, 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 the years. So on the description here, it says right here, look, it's between, it's for made between 1461 and 1560. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Based on like this, it was based, written based on the stars. And you can see how like, I mean, it's 500 years old, so it's completely rotted away there. But then here, I think you can still probably read it if you can translate it. And that's like, it baffles me, but that's like, that's real handwriting that someone actually like penned it. Which I think is so cool about historical documents. Oh look, and it has the constellations in here. That's Taurus, like me. Oh, beast. You see a field full of beasts. Yeah, right Where there. is it? Right there in the picture. Oh yeah, I see the field full of beasts, don't you? And this is people. Uh-huh, that is the solar quadrant map. So it's kind of like a, I guess like a sun map globe, kind of? Yeah. 
And these are all different astroglobes. They have like the star constellations on them. This one's my favorite, I think it's really pretty. I wonder how one would obtain something like this. It doesn't have to be a historic one, it just has to be like a cool one. And that's a flat astrogrove right there. Hi. Hi. So I want you to look all around it and see if you can find where grandma lives. Can you find out where grandma lives on it? Do you see it? If anyone knows about this globe, um, you'll know he won't find it. <laughs> just let him look, let him look, let him look. Okay, so did you find where grandma lives? No. Do you know why? So you can't find the, where grandma lives because grandma lives in North America. And when they made this globe, they didn't find North America yet. They didn't know about it yet. Okay. So that's why it's not on there. This globe is even older than that old globe over there. This one was, the, was finished in 1492. And that one was really long time ago. So that one over there. All it has is the new world, and you still can't find the graphics on it. But on this one, the piece of land where grandma lives isn't even on it at all. It's really difficult to see the writing on it even. I mean, it's 600 years old almost. That would be the North Pole. Whoa. Oh, okay, so look, this right here, so this is Africa. Whoa, that's where we live. That's exactly where we live. Very good. Yeah, see, that's Britain here. Oh, Ireland is really big. <laughs> Whoa, it's <look> like that. <laughs> okay, guys, so we're still in the museum, but we just finished up with the old globes, which are just right there. Um, the super old one is the one in the back. That's the one that was finished in 1492. And the big one in the front, the one that we saw at the beginning, was finished in 1550-something. Um, that was made after Columbus came back and they found the New World. And you can see that the New World is just kind of like a little island on the bottom because they had no idea how big it was. But I guess they assumed that it was an island, which is interesting. But Little Man had a good time looking at it because he was looking for Grandma's house and couldn't find it. Hey, Little Man, did you find Grandma's house on the map? Nope. Why? Is it supposed to be out of sight? Yeah, it was out of sight because they didn't know where it was yet. What did you think of the map? I don't like it. You don't like it? Why not? Because there's some beast. Because there's beasts on it? I think that that's fair. Kind of scary, but now we're in like the um, art section. They have some pretty cool Renaissance art and things in here, so we're going to check it out. really interesting. That's a um, whale shoulder blade and there's only three of the pieces of art in the whole world but basically what they did is they originally had harvested it just like as like a curiosity for something people to see and later it was painted and it shows kind of like the process of like whaling which we know is terrible because you're not supposed to do it anymore but you can see all the bits and how they bring the whales in and how they would process it on the land. But it's a mirror look look Nah. It's an old, like, convex mail. It probably look like, um, look like eyes. It's an interesting goblet. Mostly decoration, but I guess you could actually drink out of it. But the whole repertoire of it is that it talks about the story of, like, wine and drinking too much wine. And so, so here you can see people having a party. And then if you come around to this side, 
can actually see the guy drinking the wine, but you can see what happens when <laughs> you drink too much wine, you do naughty things, and then it will make you quite sick. I find this painting just funny. Like, yeah. yeah, because if you look at it, I mean, it's called the Portrait Gallery, right? Yeah. But at the same time, the artist is just like, mm, what should I paint today? Not really sure. You know what? I'm just gonna paint everything. There we go. And that's Mr.'s favorite right there because he loves how you can see the clouds coming in um, over the city, which I guess looks like Jerusalem, but it's not. But it's the parting of the Red Sea. You can see how the, the water is coming over. You can get all the Roman soldiers there and the Hebrews are escaping. Now, does anybody know what this is? Pause the comments below and let me know what it is. It is a guillotine. Yes, just like the kind that was used to behead Marie Antoinette and a lot of the French nobility. Um, this one was not specifically used on her, but it was used until 1813, I believe. I'll double check the sign, I'll let you guys know below. But for some reason, I always expect them to be bigger. I don't know. But it was created by a physician so that he knew exactly like where to drop the blade would be correct. But if you look at the blade, I don't know if this is the exact one, but it looks really, really scary. That one's like a Santa sleigh hybrid. And you even got the reindeer right there. <laughs> I like that a lot. And then there's a regular one over here, which is really cool. You could get maybe four people if you get two in front and two in back. Hey guys, we are in like a little alleyway right now. Not an alleyway, but it's like a long hallway. And the entire hallway is dedicated to alchemy which is really interesting, and it's not something I've really looked into or anything, but alchemy, if you don't know, it was basically um, not just like herbal medicine, but also the idea that you could do things like turn metals into gold. And actually, I don't know if you know from Harry Potter, Nicholas Flamel was actually a real alchemist, which I just learned that I didn't know that, because I've never looked into it before, but here they have like a real philosopher's stone. And here they have some books about Nicholas Flamel. Actually, this one says, History of the Critic, Nicholas Flamel, which is really cool, which I did not know. There's also a Mandrake exhibit over there, which I'll show you. And then there's a little Harry Potter book exhibit here, because a lot of these things were in the Harry Potter books. Mama, there's the Prince of Power, the Demons from the Bad Guys. Yeah. I don't know if it's from the Bad Guys, but here, right here it says it's a cup to protest the Brothers Grimm. It's like a, it's a Philosopher's Stone, kind of like in Harry Potter. See how it turns everything into, it can turn anything into gold. That's what it says in Harry Potter at least. Did you see how it made it gold at the top? Watch, it'll come down again and see it again. Okay, that's a rock. Now I'm gonna turn it, watch, it breaks it down there and watch, it'll turn into gold. exhibit I wanted to show you because um, I just didn't know that it was really a thing. I just thought it was like, I guess I thought it was a mythical thing about Harry Potter, but um, mandrakes apparently grow under the gallows where people are um, killed and you can dig them up and they can give you, make you irresistible and give you protection and lots of power and money and that kind of stuff. You can see in the picture right there how they grow. Yeah. And then this is a botanical collection. Um, what does this do? Yeah, so that's a book of like just like different like plants and things. And those mandrakes. Yeah. 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 So the dog is trying to pull up the mandrake because I guess it was really dangerous to dig them up. And that man is trying to call the dog off so he can get the mandrake. I think. So if you could collect a mandrake, they actually used to make them out of all different kinds of plants. Um, and sell them. People thought they were real. If you had one every month, you had to wash it and change its shirt, and it would give you all those great things like irresistibility and money and power. 
we're outside again. We're actually just now leaving the German History Museum, which looks like this on the outside. I can't remember if I showed it to you earlier, but we're gonna take a little break. The tickets for the whole day. But today at two o'clock, there's a free children's show at the Kids Kindle Market. So we're gonna go there. And then there's also free rides for children at 2.30. It's every mm, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursdays, I believe. I'll check the brochure and if I'm wrong, I'll write it down here. Um, and I don't know if they do it every year, but if you're coming, it'd be cool to check out. And Little Man really wants to ride that carousel. So I figured why not do it for free? Yeah, kinder. Look, they have lots of food, I bet. Oh, there we go. Woo -hoo. Look. Wow. That's great. Hi. Where are you? Do you know where you are? For who? For me? Are you at the Kinder Market? Yeah. All right, are you excited? Yeah? Are you going to see the Christmas child? Yeah? Are you going to ride the Ferris wheel? Yeah? Everything! You ride everything. I don't know about everything. But are you excited? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What you got there, babe? Joy. It's a big old pretzel. Whoa. Go for it. Crunch. Is it delicious? Yum. Yum. 